Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. This is me and your girl. I'm super excited to have you back on my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. If you're my subscriber, I really do appreciate you always coming back to watch. Thanks for always coming back. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about this topic right here. Now, you know that I've been making videos for a very long time about Nigerian men sharing with you our customs, traditions, uh, how to date them, how to make them fall in love with you, telling you about scam, about what they do. Yes, so for a while now, I took a break because of course, life happened. My child grew up. I had no one to help me. I was working too. I'm still working. So a lot of things happened, but I'm still here. Most importantly, I'm trying to uh, do the things that I enjoy doing aside talking about Nigerian men. Okay, yes, I enjoy talking about Nigerian men, which you will see me doing from time to time. But I also want to enjoy life with my family, my child, and do anything that is actually of interest to me. And I hope that you will support me by watching and commenting and sharing okay guys so i'm going to be treating this topic right here now a lady reached out to me and said to me that she's dating a nigerian man she's in love with him but he doesn't want to share his social media accounts with her so that she can see at least go through it not the kind of person that he is especially as they are not together in the same place okay and for me i think this is like the best way to actually know the person that you are dating you know for example facebook how facebook is facebook is so beautiful that it's a place you go to and you get to learn a lot of information about someone you see the person you see his family you see friends you see well wishes you see people celebrate you see occasions you see birthdays you will see him celebrate people you will see him reply to people you see him comment you will know the kind of person he is if you look back way back you will see things that he's been involved in so that's how you actually get to know this person so if he doesn't want to share this with you i believe like he's hiding something from you and it's kind of a red flag because you're not with him how else is he supposed to show you the kind of person that he is it's not enough to tell you it's not enough to sweet talk you or try to tell you through words of mouth it's actually better if he shares it with you and i for one think it's Kind of a red flag him not wanting to share it with you because you guys have been together for quite a while and he's still refusing to share meaning that he doesn't want you to see something i'm going to be honest with you he doesn't want you to see something because if he's so sure of himself he has nothing in his closet to hide he will give it to you willingly okay so what I'm sharing with you here today is trying to tell you that the only way for you to actually know someone who's far away is by communication. And when you talk about communication, if you guys are communicating, yes, you're trying, you're getting to know the person, but whereby this person is not showing you more than just communicating with you. Like you need to see more. For you telling me he's refusing to share his social media account means that you shared yours, but he's not sharing his. So he's gone through yours, he's seen you already, knows the kind of person you are, uh, he's seen your people you chat with, he's seen your friends, your family, maybe relatives, because at least from the conversation that you've had or conversations that you've had with people, he will understand, he will get to know the kind of people or the people you're talking with. Now, let me share something with you. A woman chatted me once, once upon a time and said to me that she would really like me to check out the picture she sent me, okay? And said so she sent it on Instagram. Now I went on Instagram to see. She said, the picture looks like a traditional, you know, something like marriage. She's been with this guy for some years and they're together. 
and she wants to know what's going on but she went to her profile and then she saw this so she saw her man with this other woman in this couple attire you know nigerians we have couple attire you're wearing the same like the man is wearing so they have this couple attire and she said it kind of looks like you know a traditional wedding and pleaded with me to please check it out and try to confirm her fears now i went on to check this out lo and behold it was a traditional wedding picture showing that that guy married this particular woman in the picture and that's a traditional picture okay now what well, i'm not gonna go in details but i'm just trying to tell you what social media can do for you social media can save you heartache social media can save you a lot if you actually know so if this guy is actually trying to keep you away from his social media he has a lot to hide and until you go there and discover you will never know what he's hiding so all i want to say to you is do persuade him tell him you guys are from different places you know different countries and you want to see you want to know what he's been up to or what he's up to at least you just want to get to know him better honestly from someone's social media you get to know them better social media is the best place to know someone better i've gone on social people's social media people who i feel are cool people and i see the nonsense they say on social media i see the nonsense they post on social media like social media is a place that you post things because you're not like expecting someone else in the future to find that out but then you will see this and it will throw more light on the kind of person that he or she is now this is for everyone let's say for me let's say i kind of misbehaved on social media and oh mimi let me see the kind of person mimi is yes this is mimi's name social media name you go into mimi's profile you check me out you will get to know me more so social media is very important if he's not trying to share with you, he definitely has something to hide, sister. He definitely has something to hide. This is what I'm telling you. If you do not believe this, it means that, I don't know what else to say. He has something to hide. Tell him, if you have nothing to hide, share your social media profile with me and let me see. Let me get to know you. Let me get to know the kind of person that you are. Believe me, if he still doesn't give it to you, I don't have anything to say, but you best decide what's best for you. Okay, my sister? Okay. So, guys, this is me. It's been a while. I miss you guys. I miss you guys so much. But I was tired of talking about Nigerian men, you know, with the whole thing i just wanted to breathe fresh air and talk about something new you know but i still keep coming back to this this is like karma <laughs> but honestly i just want to do something different with my family there's more to nigerians in nigerian life than just nigerian men so this is what I want to show you. And I want to show you Nigerian lifestyle through me, okay? I'm a Nigerian woman, married to a Nigerian man, have a Nigerian baby. For example, today, in this same attire, I was just teaching my baby how to speak Igbo. And I'll be sharing that with you maybe next week, yes. I was teaching her how to speak her father's language. And if you're married to an Igbo man and you want to learn, I think this is actually very good for you because you're going to learn from the foundation stage. I'm teaching this girl. Like if you're married to an Igbo man and you want to learn, I think this is actually good for you because you're going to learn from the foundation stage. How best to learn other than to learn like a child yes so this is it from me to you i missed you guys and i hope you guys missed me too just in case you still have nigerian men related questions do not forget i am here for you honestly but i also want you guys to support me support your girl it mustn't just be all nigerian men things i want to do all the things i want to do things that you know anything that comes to mind i want to share it with you okay i talk relationship i'm an do I say I'm a relationship enthusiast? I talk about relationship. I share a lot concerning relationship aside Nigerian men. 
okay let's just say i'm just this kind of person who likes to share this so today is my off day and believe you me i've done a lot of content in the same attire i will share them all them all on the same day which is my off day how else do i survive if i don't do it on my off day so this is it okay guys so i also have a very nice episode loading it's a storytelling that i would like to share with you guys it's a story of a nigerian man and a woman of how they fell in love it's an amazing story it's a story that is you know uh it's this amazing because it was her first boyfriend her first love and boom her husband and up to date this girl has had just one boyfriend one true love and a husband isn't that amazing so i'm going to be sharing this with you through episodes i'll be reading it and hopefully you get to understand the story so my girl so my ladies without further ado do have a lovely day do have a blessed day stay happy stay blessed then Bye bye. bye bye. Remember, I love you. Okay, I love, I love you. you. Mommy, look at the pomodoro back. I love you. Oh, bye.